the music. And of course, that is a major attraction to us. When you can feel that effortless music, which are the first words I spoke today, the dancing has to be attractive. It has to have, it has to be a sound. But it's designed to fit the music, the music must have that effect on it. So get that idea that the, it's coming from behind you, it's ahead of you, follow your girl. Never push, never pull. There is a very famous Canadian dancer. He's a, he's a very clever guy and he made one statement. He said, when you, he said, you feel that the wind is an invisible energy. We only know it's windy if we go along, we can see the flags are fluttering, right? We know there's a wind, but we cannot see the wind. He said, when I, when I want to see a good dancer, I want to feel that he's been moved by an invisible force. Right? We don't want to see it pushed, and you're ahead of that music. Okay? So please give your musicality a lot. But you, of course, what helps, you can't have good musicality unless you've got a good foundation. Right? So going back to what we said this morning, always make sure that this end, pay more attention to this end, and this end will look after it. <coughs> Now it remains to me to say you've been a fabulous participating audience. I'm sure your brains and your feet are probably aching a bit. But it remains for me to say thank you very much indeed to your wonderful committee for putting on, first of all, for putting on this great day and to, to stimulate the dancing here. So I thank you very much for the invitation and uh, have a great evening if you're having the barbecue. You have to save some for me. Yep. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Anthony. I think we can just simply say it's been a privilege. That's all that needs to be said. Uh, we do have time for questions, if you have any. Uh, the lecturers, Alex or Anthony, could answer them if you wish. Len's ready with a microphone to put the question to anybody. It's not a have to, but it's just a, a little way to finalise today's lectures. Anybody? There it is. Right, Len, who's got the mic? We can't find it. Well, we'll use the mic so everybody can appreciate your question. Thanks, Cameron. Uh, just before, when you're talking in the tango about pressure, how much pressure... Wait a minute, are we in the boring lecture? Oh, Alex. oh, sorry, in the boring lecture. Right. We're talking about tango and talking about pressure. How much pressure did you want to have in the hole? What would you add to what you say? Sorry, I didn't sorry. the first part. Okay. So, like, so, so in the tango, yeah. we're talking about the pressure, you know, the lady. How much pressure do you think is zero? Zero. Nothing. Right. When I place this hand around the back, it, for me, although it's, it's my shoulder line to there, from there to there belongs to you. It's her arm. Right? And any girl that does this pinches me like that. Right, no way. <coughs> Give yourself space as well. Give yourself space first. So whether we're in that or we're in bronze art, right? So we don't have any hold or pressure. So I find a good idea for the girls is when you place this hand from here, right? Almost feel as though you space yourself. Don't hook it on. Because okay? it's the first bronze art you do is it's going to make you hit you Oh, yeah. uh, this is to uh, Anthony. <laughs> when you were saying before about the uh, phrasing in Foxtrot, you danced a perfectly phrased Foxtrot. But you, but you weren't doing a routine to a set number of bars, but the phrasing was spot on. Right. 
because that's what I'm saying is that uh, if you actually listen to the news, you see, I could be a rock scientist sometimes, I sometimes have my lessons. Yeah. You hear that music, you say, yeah, of course it can. I say, well, don't, you know, you're not listening to it. <laughs> So you do, you listen to it, you don't even hear where it's got it. Hey, put you put that fox on there? Sorry, mate. I'll keep you fit. <laughs> further, we're talking about swing, body swing, right? And then we start involving the melody of the music. So I often feel that this is my rhythm section, this is the orchestra, the violin section, the trumpet, the saxophone, call it what you like. That is what I want to take around the floor. I want to become part of that orchestra. Thank you. Good have that out of nowhere, number 10. <laughs> What's your idea of this propulsion? I wouldn't do it like that. <laughs> no, right. but I'm just saying, firstly, it's like a common thing people think yes. of the jar or push out and support. Right, them. because they are activating, they're, they're dancing dance off the moving thing. You can't, and then, of course, you're right here, you can't, you can't be used to working between your feet. So, that's what I'm trying to explain here, that my power is generated now. This has got nothing to do with power. I just place that under my body, and the energy I get as I depart that foot swings me up through the bar of music. So you can, I hope I'm making myself clear. You can see how I'm using this music. It's part of my connecting energy, right, to there. Right, I let it go on, then I've got the compression here. I just walk onto that, but the power I produce from there carries me to the top. Now I repeat that. So I'm, I'm using the control there. This has got no power to swing with that side. What are you saying is there's no push? Oh, 
Anybody who pushes, right, we ought to throw it in the lake, in the sea. Yeah, that's all. Right. No, no, never a push. Never a push.